Welcome back to Modern Salon TV. I'm TJ Hughes. And I'm Trevor Deneen. Last episode, we featured three segments filmed in Paris from Wella Trend Vision to Modern's beautiful December photo shoot, plus Hair World and Mondial. This episode, we show you how to care for and color your client's hair extensions. Explore the styles seen on Harry Potter characters. And interview the hairdressers for Hollywood's latest film, Burlesque. Hair extensions offer clients an immediate way to get fuller, longer hair, making it a profitable service to offer in your salon. Here, we talk to Nancy Lee, a great lengths hair extension expert, about how to do a retouch on a client with a full head of hair extensions. You can always do highlights on the free zone area, which is the area on the top of the head and also around the perimeter of the hairline where we don't place extensions. It's absolutely no problem to get a foil in there. And really, that's the part that just lays over the top of the hair anyway. So the highlights are gonna be fine and you won't see, you won't need to worry about the highlights on the interior. Then after I put some foils on the top of Kimberly's hair, we're going to put a base color in all over in between and then let it process. Uh, the main thing you need to worry about when you put the base color on is to make sure that you don't just completely slather the bonds. You can get um, a little bit of color on the bonds, but you want to make sure that wherever the attachment site is, you want to be careful not to slather the color on there. I'm going to put Kimberly under a, heat, a dryer just for a few minutes to just speed this process up. Well, one of the things I recommend with extensions is that you don't wad the hair all up. You can wrap it like in a turban, or you can do like what I'm doing, and I'm just gently towel blotting. The main thing is you're trying to keep them from getting tangled. Yay! This segment is for you, Harry Potter fans. Through seven movies, we have seen many different styles on the franchise stars who have grown up in front of our eyes. Here, Modern Salon TV reporter Melissa Hill takes a look at a few of the styles. When the final Harry Potter film is released next July, we'll have spent 10 years watching the cast grow from tweens to 20-somethings. It's amazing to think that the first film was released in 2001. Daniel Radcliffe, who beat out hundreds to win the title role of Harry Potter, has grown from a 12-year-old boy to a young man over the course of the films. His style has changed from medium length and slightly messy for the first two films to a grown-out shag in the fourth. By part one of the final film, he's got an appropriately mature look, including a shorter haircut and a five o'clock shadow during his, Ron and Hermione's life on the run. Apple cheeked and slightly frizzy haired when she made her debut as Hermione Granger at the age of 11. Emma Watson has grown into a beauty who has appeared as the face of Burberry. Her style since the first film has gone from full roughed up waves to more sleek defined curls as she became a teenager and then the love interest of Ronald Weasley. Rupert Grint's style as the cheeky, loyal best friend Ron Weasley has changed perhaps the least among the three. Like Radcliffe, Grint grew his hair longer for the fourth movie, before trimming his locks for a shorter but still shaggy style for the remaining films. With only one film left to go, I'm both excited and sad to bid farewell to these memorable characters, I'm sure like many of you. Throughout the past year, Modern Salon TV has taken you on tours of some of the world's coolest salons. In this segment, we decided to switch things up and get an exclusive tour of an industry legend's office. Join us as John Paul DeJoria, co-founder of Paul Mitchell, shows us around. Maybe I take you for a little tour of the office, can I do that? Well, just some of my buddies there, of course, Richard Branson and Muriel Hemingway and Papa Bush. I always liked Papa Bush. I thought he was a great president for the United States, you know, especially during the Gulf War many, many years ago. And all oh, just other friends, Pierce Brosnan and my wife. Uh, here I am with President Clinton, who I thought was a great president. I'm on the road a lot, and I, my headquarters are Austin, Texas, where I run the country from Austin, but I'm probably physically in the office maybe two days a month, sometimes three. I feel it's more important for me to be on the road, touching hairdressers, touching distributors, touching people. And from Austin, Texas, my main residence, it's no more than two and a half hours anywhere by jet. Modern Salon is always cutting edge, so it's no surprise the team here is proud to announce our newest launch, iPad and iPhone apps. Here's senior editor Allison Shipley with the details. Hey guys, Allison here. Now you can enjoy all the benefits of being a Modern Salon reader right with the click of a button. 
That's right, Modern Salon has launched a new app that is sure to make your modern experience easy to navigate, incredibly interactive, and engaging. Read the magazine and e-letter, watch episodes of Modern Salon TV, visit the website to view the latest collections, and above all, explore this beautiful industry right at your fingertips. To begin, go to modernsalon.com slash app on your iPhone. Locate the plus sign on the navigation bar of your phone, tap the sign, and then tap add to home screen. It really is that easy. Got an iPad or do you have one on your wish list for the holidays? Be sure to add our new iPad app at modernsalon.com slash iPad. The beauty industry is a buzz over burlesque, which stars Cher and Christina Aguilera. Lucky for us, we got to go to the red carpet premiere of the film and shout with the hair lead. Let's check it out. Every look is just so stunning. Um, you know, the dancers were fantastic. Julianne Half, Kristen Bell, their looks were absolutely brilliant to conceive. The story is with Julianne and, and Kristen and the way that we transformed them into the redhead and the brunette is because they were all blonde. We had to make the changes. We couldn't have three blonde leaders on stage, you know, in this story. So we decided to make Kristen a really fiery and dangerous looking brunette. A lot of people were, uh, I think, a little bit disappointed because they didn't recognize Julianne. Yeah. Some people said to me, oh, what happened? We didn't, you know, we didn't see her properly because she was wearing this red wig, which looked great. But this is what Stephen wanted and this is, it really did work. I mean, it really did work. And in fact, actually, she looked fantastic in the red wig. Everybody was wearing wigs or hair pieces or wefts, extensions, anything you name it. The hair was just so intense on the movie. It was so exciting, so great to be part of it. So get your hands up, show me how you believe. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, if you become a fan of Modern Salon on Facebook, tell us why you should be featured in an upcoming episode. See you in two weeks. Hello, my name is Ayas Sassoon. And I'm Elon Sassoon. And we're watching Modern Salon TV. Hi, I'm Ali Bonilla. And I'm Omar Antonio. And, and we're, we're watching, watching Modern Salon TV. I am Samantha Vega. And I'm Didi Dubois. And we, we are, are watching, watching Modern Salon, Salon TV. TV.